All right. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how do you connect Radio DJ to a standalone encoder such as Alt AltaCast or EdCast or um, B-U-T-T. Before you can set those things up, you must do some things in Radio DJ. And so, as you can see here on the screen, I'm inside the Radio DJ folder. Okay. So wherever your radio DJ folder is, go into that folder. When you go into that folder, you're going to be looking for this docs folder. And when you go into the docs folder, you'll see another folder called now playing templates. So we're going to go into that folder. And here are the pre-made templates that come with radio DJ. Um, you have serial templates, you have um, this Orbin optical PC serial template. You have these other templates. What I'm interested in is this pad to um, UTF eight. So let's open that up and see what's in it. Okay. So when we open that up, we see that we have uh, a string of variables and words. Uh, me personally, the only thing I want to go out is the artist, the title, and maybe my station name. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and show you that you can, you can name this file, whatever you want. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to make a new file and I'll call it, um, I'll just simply call it now I'm playing. Okay. So now I've created a now playing um, text file. Let's give it, let's add another variable to it. I want to, I want to make it now I'm playing template to distinguish the difference. We'll make it a template. All right. So we're going to open up this template and I'm going to paste that code in there. I don't need it. The word artist equal. I don't need the title, the word title, but I'm going to put a space, a minus and a space. I don't need this other stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a space in the name of my station. This could be anything. This could be your station name. It could be your slogan. Um, it could be your station name and your slogan. Or as you saw earlier, earlier, it could be a link. Now this is what shows up inside the media players. Like if someone is listening to you using uh Winamp, iTunes or uh windows media player, this is the information they will see in the player on some of those players. That information actually scrolls across the screen of the player. This is also the information that's going to go to um, your reporting agencies. And if you want it to, you can do album if you wanted to. Dollar sign. Dollar sign. Okay. Save that. So now this is our now playing template. This is called an input file. Now that I have that input file. Well, before I even do that. Now, where do we, um, what do we output to the output file could be in the same location or it could be anywhere on any other drive. I'm going to put it in the same location. So I'm just going to create an, another file and I'm going to call it now play. That file is going to be empty. You're just going to leave this file empty. What radio DJ is going to do 
is whenever the song changes, it's going to load this file and it's going to replace these variables with the actual information and it's going to write it into this file. Okay. That's why this file is left blank. Now that we've done that, we're going to go over to radio DJ and we're going to go down to the now playing info. And when that comes up, we're going to go to file export. Um, as you see, I had it set on G drive now playing Well, we're going to, we're going to go and get the new one that we just created. I got it in this radio DJ test. Um, it's going to go into this docs folder. It's going to go to our now playing templates and we're going to grab this now playing text. That's our output file. Yeah. I want to replace it. Our input file. We made this now playing template. So that's our input file and you have to enable it. Okay. And as we already know, this file is empty. So I'm going to play something. Okay. And so we see that we have come to Zion by Bishop Larry D. Trotter presents the sweet Holy spirit choir. So now let's go back over to this now playing text and open it up. And now it has been replaced with the proper information. The, the name of the artist is Bishop Larry D. Trotter presents Holy Spirit, hosts, mm, the Sweet Holy Spirit Choir. The name of the song is Come to Zion and it's from the album Gospel Truth. And of course, your station, your name or station slogan, that stays the same because that's not a variable that changes. That's whatever you put in. Okay, so now that we have that working, how do we get it over into the other programs? So we'll memorize that. Let's go to the butt program. Okay. The butt program, when you go to settings, um, you want to go to the stream tab here and it says update song name from file. So we're going to go to where that, um, output file that we created is the now I'm playing up with file output file. Send docs. Now I'm playing templates. There it is. The now I'm playing text. So we're going to select that and we're going to activate. You're done. That's it for, but, but we'll, um, go and read that file to update the metadata for that song. What about AltaCast? Oh, there she is. All right. In AltaCast, and I think EdCast looks exactly the same, up at the top where it says metadata, you're going to hit edit. And you're going to select file. Now, unfortunately, in here, there's no browse button. So you're going to have to get that and copy and paste that in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring butt back up because I have it open. Or better yet, you may not have butt. So let's just go and get radio DJ. Let's go back to the now playing file export. And we're just going to highlight this target file. And we're going to copy that. Now we can just paste that right here and hit okay. And now, um, AltaCast will be able to pick that up and put that in the metadata of the stream. Whatever program you're using that grabs a text file for the metadata, it's the same process. Now that, now that you've created um, your template and your output file in Radio DJ, all you got to do is tell the other programs to go and get the now playing text file. Okay. And um, let's go ahead and Jump to the next song so you can see that it will update. Now it's playing Byron, Byron Cage, Glory Song. So if we go over here to the now playing text, there it is, Byron Cage, Glory Song. All right, 
Hope this is help.